Hello everyone and welcome to another video and today we're going to be trying the Donald Trump and Joe Biden hot sauces from Pepper Palace. Uh, yeah, and we don't know anything about these sauces other than that one of them's called Sleepy Joe hot sauce and then what's the Trump one called? Uh, there will be hell to pay. Alright, so not bad cartoon likenesses. We got the Sleepy Joe sauce and then there will be hell to pay. All right, and uh, let's see what's the challenge here, or uh, what's what's the end game here? We're trying to whichever one is hotter or tastes better is the one that's going to win the election. Okay, so what if one tastes better than the other but is less spicy? Okay, we'll do taste better. Okay, the better tasting one will win. Yeah, but don't you think like the spiciest? Okay, fine, is... spicy. Shh, what the hell is that? That thing is huge. Oh my god. All right, it's gone. Is it gone? Yeah, I think so. All right, here we go. What should we do first? Um, Donald Trump. Donald Trump, oh, okay. So what does it say? Come over to our side. Ivanka, run this place. We shall overcome. Ingredients, habanero peppers, carrots, onion, vinegar, garlic, lime juice, and salt. All right. All right. Also, oh, and it says also, Obama, you're fired. So wait, was this made like years and years ago? Was this like a twenty well, sixteen? Was it. this like a twenty sixteen sauce that they're still making now or something like that? Uh, because well, that doesn't even make sense because Obama wasn't fired. He had two terms and he literally couldn't run for a third one. All right, three. Ready? Two. One. That's not spicy. It just tastes like Tabasco sauce. It's good. I mean, yeah, it's an okay hot sauce, but that literally just tastes like Tabasco sauce. I can't even tell the difference. If I closed my eyes and ate the two side by side, I would have, there wouldn't be any way to tell. Here we go. We got the Sleepy Joe hot sauce. Joe is a hands-on leader. The hot sauce you won't remember. <laughs> go ahead. Give it a sniff. It's a big effing deal. Ingredients. Water, vinegar, habanero, sugar, salt. Spices and xanthan gum shake well. Oh no, I think we're going to be in a situation where we're not going to be able to evaluate which is hotter because neither of them are hot at all. So we're going to have to, to go based on flavor. Yeah, honey, that is really hard. You kind of have to get here. If you don't have any fingernails, it doesn't work. I, don't, yeah. I have fingernails, they're just short. Smells slightly different from the other one, but it looks the same. Oops. Put right. more, put more. Yeah, this is, the sauce is super watery. Oh shit. Okay, not into watery sauces. Alright. Okay. My favorite reaction is not as hot at all, but it tastes better than the other one. This is spicier. A little, I don't like I think I, I noticed noticeably it's a the Trump one is a little bit spicier, just a teeny bit. But the Sleepy Joe one tastes better. I don't know. I think it's equal. Neither of them are good sauces, which is a perfect representation of what we're dealing with when we're trying to choose who to vote for. So, yeah. I mean, I guess yeah, it's appropriate. Um, but yeah, I thought those were disappointing. All right. I mean, there's there's nothing is there anything exceptional to you about either no, of them? Alright, here's our surprise. We've got purebred idiot hot sauce. Goes very well with this video. Even the way they calculated the Scoville heat units on it is, is idiotic because they listed the different peppers and the extract that's in it and then they just added it up and said that it was 3.5 million Scoville heat units, but that's not how it works. Yeah. Well, how it works is, let's say that you have equal parts habanero, which is 300,000 Scoville units, and equal parts pepper extract, which is a million. Then you have 1.3 million divided by two. It's 650,000 Scoville fine. units. Oh, no. That's not how it works. You don't just be like, oh, I have this hot pepper and this hot pepper and this hot pepper, well, and then you an just add them all up. Do we have an unstapler? No, it's we just pull it, shut. You just pull it apart. It's stapled shut. Goes. All right. 
So here's idiots only purebred idiot hot sauce. We are idiots. Oh. They've got it like a medicine dropper or something. <laughs> yeah. We should just do like three, like some. Some of this is going to be cut out. I don't know. Can you pause that? Alright, we got it open, but Dad got it all over his finger. Alright, literally, I've got like a little mini baster here. How much do you want? Three drops each. Four. All right. Actually, four. Four drops. Five. No, no, no. You already put, you put five drops. One, two, three. Alright. Smell it. Did you take it already? No. You should sit down because the camera can't see you. That's not spicy at all. Yeah, is that some kind of joke? That's not even hot. It's, well, it's, it's neither hot nor good. It tastes disgusting. Combines five different peppers together to create a distinctively flavorful sauce for only those brave enough to withstand the extreme heat. That's not even extreme. So it's got water, jalapeno pepper, habanero, habanero powder, ghost pepper, ghost pepper powder, scorpion pepper, scorpion pow pow pepper powder, Carolina Reaper pepper, Carolina Reaper pepper powder, capsaicin extract, vinegar, salt, and then some garlic and spices. So it's got, what? got what? all that stuff in there. Put a giant drop, the whole, the whole tube. I can taste the extract. It tastes like crap. It does not taste good. That's a bad sauce, man. That's just bad. Also, I can't get it. I get more. Feeling it a little bit. It's like, it's a build. No, it's building. Is it? Yeah. This is the kind of thing that will cause that to smell later. It, you know, it's it has got a slow build to it. It's at, it's starting to get kind of hot. Look, second dose, I can actually taste the pepper a little bit, and it's not horrible, but that extract is not nice. Yeah. It's obviously not a very powerful extract. I think they said it was a million scoville heat units, as opposed to the stuff that's in Doom, which is over six million. So it's like a low-level extract, but it has an unpleasant chemical flavor. I'm gonna give that a four for spice. Yeah, four is four is appropriate. Two for flavor. That's like three for flavor. It tasted better on the second helping, but I still don't like it. It's not very good. Yeah. I think we're gonna end that off here. We got a very special video coming tonight. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Yeah, and I have to say before you uh, do it, I don't recommend any of these three. Would you agree? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat>